Hello and welcome to Loving Belize. My name is Rose Robin and I'm biking all the way around Belize, interviewing people from all walks of life. I want to find out what Belizeans think of contemporary Belize. I'm also going to be giving free art workshops in rural towns and teaching the children how to do stop animation so they can share their feelings too. I believe the international media has been putting down Belize for far too long and I want to give the world an opportunity to see, yes, the beautiful keys of Belize, yes, the amazing traditions and food and culture, but also just how beautiful and amazing the people of Belize are. Probably they don't use this to entertain, to make song music. So then they just to make signal. Mm -hmm. Then they use them for communication. Okay. That's lower than this one. How old do you think this is? Well, well, like you said, we believe it was dated 730 to 860 AD, so it's more or less about a little bit of about 1300 years old. And that's one of the amazing parts of the Bantun. The Bantun was using mold. And I worked with Norman Hummer and I found a mold which produced a Java piece. He pour some rubber liquid in there. When the rubber became hard, it was a beautiful job on it. Wow. Yes. Yeah. You might find. Then, that reminds me my mother. She used to collect um, these um, quartz or shells. Mm -hmm. She had burnt those shells and then ground it to powder on the sandstone and mix it among the clay until it really mixed up and down. Then she formed the pot. I asked her why she did it. She said, because the clay is so fine that even if it's alone, it will always crack. Mm -hmm. So she said she makes it with these shells so that it's stronger. Right. I, I do reproduction, that's why I like that. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not guessing. <laughs> Daughter made that one? Yeah. Oh, my her. word. Then she, she signed LC at the bottom, LC oh. in the turtle background, and believe. Why we use the turtle background? Because my last name is Cock, and Cock in Ketchi is turtle. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you see, all of them originally they all have two finger holes, so I keep on with the two finger holes. Hey girl, hey girl. Oh girl, don't be confused. Don't be confused. It's your world. It's your world. Me have to wonder why she gone and get an ex-boyfriend when she still yet caught up with she ex-boyfriend. Can't make up her mind, one foot out, one foot in both so she stay from the beginning Me have to wonder why she gone and get an ex-boyfriend She still yet caught up with she ex-boyfriend Can't make up her mind, one foot out, one foot in both so she stay from the beginning And some woman a queen and some woman a empress While some of them will grab your interest But as they do, them a go flex like a temptress And a temp you fit do all kind of mess Pure problem and senseless drama endless When most of the time are them one conscious Wait baby girl slow it down make we no endless No one end up on your ex friend yeah. Me up you wonder why she gone and get an ex boyfriend When she still yet caught up with she ex boyfriend What's your name? I'm Junior, Bonnell Junior Bonnell, how long have you lived in uh, Placencia well, for? Hmm, in Placencia I've been around 20 years 20 years? Yeah. Since I was 12, I'm here. I'm born Belize in um, um, I was a family of eight. Um, it was two brothers, five sisters, and I was the oldest brother. So I used to cook from a small. I love cooking. I love cooking. I love feeding people and let them smile, right? So that's the best part of it. Um, it's a lobster fest. So it's um, all you can eat lobsters. I'm going to um, dive up some lobsters um, around some little fresh, nice coral patches. I mean, what was it like 20 years ago here? Oh, like, yeah. Uh, 20 years ago, like I was saying, there was um, a big difference. We didn't have paved roads. We had mostly red dirt, hard road, and um, it was different. Like I was saying, like um, on the beach, we have a lot of places that I remember. 20 years, I used to walk, go fish, or throw a cast net. I can't go no more because then they don't, they don't, they don't really um, accept it no more 
for us to walk to a certain spot. So what are you, what are you saying that um, a lot of the people who now own the beachfront don't well, like it when people yes, walk on the beach? It's mostly like, um, it's mostly foreigners now on the beachfront properties. Yeah, you know, Yeah, 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 yeah. most I show me a sign of all of the bad mind. Yeah, positive vibes, I never resign. Oh, you go. Bad man, you want me rise. All them office in me fall and you want me shine. Bad man, want me end up in a cemetery. Bad man, want me end up in a cemetery. Where me office is. Then you want me make a dime. Then you want me see me live on the front line. Bad man, want me end up in a cemetery. Bad man, want me end up in a cemetery. Where me office is. Then you want to see me cruise. Easy with the cool. So when you do like that, that's just protection to these are like, you know? Ooh. Oh, yeah. It can poke you and sometimes a little point of it will actually snap off. Snap off and stays in your hand. Lobster. Lobster. <laughs> this is something that you will get in Belize from original local chef. I'm proud and it's got a Glad to present what I make, and whenever you come to Belize, and you could always come and try me, you know. So I'm a local cook, and I'm always trying to make my best presentation and the taste. I know you all love so. Born in a Belize from 19 years long Tired of the way how some people are going Fussing and fighting them and know them things wrong Cause we're living in this world full of confusion Murderation, separation, me said dump and jalan Every night and every day them and go kill someone Mother and the father of them poor them and Cry on them ball out for them young one Hey, put down the gun and make we live as what? Well. So you got blackberry, cashew? We got pineapple, we got carrot I got what? Carrot wine. A carrot wine? Yeah. You want to taste it? I would love to taste the carrot wine. So but what's popcorn lobster? It's it's like it's just I take the lobster and I cut it up into literally like little small pieces and bread them and fry them real quick and it's like little little pieces of, of nice. Guys, you got lobster. My grape, my that sounds delightful. If you prefer the lobster a different way, I can saute it, make it a Mongolian lobster for you. You know, if you want to try something a little different, I don't mind. I got you. I like. Okay. I like. That. I can tell. I can tell. I can tell by your beautiful smile. Yeah, I would love to try whatever you want to give me. I would love to. Okay. Have a All special. Right. All right. Got you. I'll, <laughs> I'll, 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 I got. I'll cook some up. I was actually gonna go to school to be like to be a doctor. That's what I was gonna do when I graduated high school. And during high school, I realized I really, really like to feed people rather than care for them. I, I just. <laughs> Got lost in the shuffle and got a job and did what they, you know, what you're supposed to do. And then I hit 30. And, you know, I woke up and it was just like, I gotta do something. I gotta, I gotta go after it or I'll never do it. I came out here to clear my head in January with my, with my dad. We came out here for a day. And when I came out here, I've always wanted to do a restaurant on the beach. I am damn near almost the happiest person right now. You know, if my wife was here, I'd be, it'd be like complete, you know what I mean? But it's like the first time, like for me, it's like, that's all that's missing is my wife. And then be cool. I, my last thing I cooked was at five o'clock in the morning. But to know that someone, want, that someone at any point in time in the night thought about what I'm cooking. Right. It's like, that's, it's like a high. <laughs> From January right back to December, where the winter, spring, or summer, it's a done duffer. You know I'm gonna get this cheddar. Hey yo, what you came to do? I came to turn the party off. What you came to do? I came to make them scream and shout. What you came to do? I came to make my dough. Rock the mic and just start the show. Hey, for you hitters, I'ma let you know. You just can't stop my dough. No.
Step up in all the dancing girls and ball out, bro. That's the rude boy with so much dough. Holy for style and so much flow. I'll rock the club from ceiling to floor. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. If you love my style, I suggest you say so. It's a dumb. Would you? Hello, sweetie pie. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you What's your name? Charlie. 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 Pleasure to meet you, Rose. <laughs> Hello, cutie pie. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Alain. Mm -hmm. Ah, pleasure. I understand that you have something to do with the, the store that's in San Ignacio, is that correct? No, not in San Ignacio. Uh uh, no? In Belize City. You have the uh, Harley Davidson. Uh -huh. I came to make my dough Rock the mic and just start the show And for you feelers, I'ma let you know You just can't So how long have you been writing? Oh. This one? I guess this one, you wanna go for that one? Oh. Sorry, one and a half years One and a half years, did you bring her over here? No, that's the first, I bought that first one from Alamalu Oh really, in Billy City? Uh huh How long have you lived here? I was born here Oh, you were born here? Where were you, where were you born? Ironwood. Ironwood. This is a fantastic way of getting around to these, huh? Oh, phenomenal. Wait, to, to wait till we're on the, we're on the hummingbird now. Mm -hmm. wait, till the, wait till we're all on this road. Oh, sweet. What's your name? Frank. Frank. Nice to meet you. Ah, where are you from? Spanish Lookout. And uh, where did you get your bike from? Uh, ah, from the Harry Davidson store as well. So let me see your hands clap What you came to do? I came to turn the party off What you came to do? I came to make them scream and shout What you came to do? I came to make my dough Rock the mic and just start the show And for your haters, I'ma let you know You just can't stop my dough No! Nice to meet you. Very good to meet you. <laughs> so you made it. I guess I thought you must have left mid vein that far. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Right. I had no control over what those humongous burly men were doing. <laughs> a, a, a Harley Davidson. This? These are the survey areas that I went to. Um, the area I, I surveyed for my experimental work um, on the LIDAR. Right. Which is um, laser you know, light imaging and distance raging that it uses laser and you have to fly over it's not you know satellite images off of what comes back with the laser so if it picks up a uh, a butterfly in the air so i have dots in the air you can see they come back or a bird or a leaf or a branch or a root or actually the earth and i'm only looking at the earth right now when did you get those light about done? a year ago a year ago and before that you were i did I did regular survey. I would map these just without any background, you know. So this is re really quite revolutionary. It's revolutionary. Yeah. I'm not really good at those, uh, oh wow, you know, well it was a ritual place that, you know, did this or that. Gosh, I don't know. And actually, this is the ponds. Terraces we have ver verified in the field. I've been out there once. And what are they made out of? Their stone this is going up, up to an area that is really quite beautiful. I, I don't know if you've been in what I call a corosal, but um, this is a natural habitat for this palm that is the uh, cahoon or coroso. This is very exciting to find. It's not a common thing. Think of terraces. We think of um, those are fabulous ones in in, um, in Indonesia or Java, for example. And this one, it's uh, this group and this that we're going to go check. That's okay. our first mission, and there I'm happy. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, what's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Narciso Torres. Torres. Mr. Gardner. So, how long have you been working with uh, Miss Annabelle Ford? Well, I, I would say uh, like three decades right now. So, oh, no. wow. There's supposed to be canaries. So what's, your, what's your name? Narciso. And I see so. <laughs> Just like my father. Ah, uh, how long have you been working? Um, not not too long. I just started. You just started? Two months ago, yeah. 
she's um, doing it for, for Belize, you know. It's not for America, it's just doing for Belize, so we need to appreciate what she's doing. So you're saying that uh, that she's actually helping cre to create jobs exactly. in the community? Yes, that's, that's, that's our aim. Yeah. We are trying to create more more um, awareness, to make um, more gardens in in the houses or in the or in the backyard. Uh, everything that you put in the ground will grow if you, if it's, it's, it's if it's on the proper time. But um, normally, well, when when a crop goes bad, you miss the right time. If all the, the plants that you see here have a purpose, you know. It's, if it's not medicinal, it's for something else, you know. So this is a tarantula hole. Mm -hmm, that's a tarantula hole. <laughs> so El Pilar is actually. Um, on the border of Belize and Guatemala, correct? The uh, site uh, has an ancient Maya causeway that links across the modern political boundary. Both countries, of course, admire the Maya, realize that the ancient monuments have a lot of value for tourism, and there is a strong ethic of conservation that has been promoted worldwide. <laughs> Now we're right now not, <laughs> we're at El Pilar, we're south of the big monuments and passing a big mound right here. Where are we now? Gosh knows. And, and this is a significant mound. Yeah, this is a house, ancient Maya house right now. <laughs> I'm mainly interested in the daily life, so where the houses are is very important. And uh, so we're looking at sort of downtown uh, El Pilar from, you know, a thousand years out. A thousand years ago, this was a, a beautiful um, uh, forest and garden with maize fields and uh, uh, fast-growing perennials and long-lived perennials, managed forest, um, feeding, you know, some, you know, 10,000 to 15,000 people. My work is in ancient societies, ancient cultures. This doesn't look like a city, I wager. Do you think it looks like a city? No, no, no. It looks like good <laughs> habitat for monkey. Right. <laughs> so um, what, what could this have looked like? In ancient Maya times, and as I started to imagine the landscape, I realized and started reading about material about the forest itself. Everything is useful. This is thatching. Uh, the uh, other palm there is can be used for oil. Everything is used by the contemporary humans. Um, fruits, medicine, oils, things to make things with, construction material. It's like um, I don't know what a Costco is for you and uh, <laughs> uh, Caterpillar. Don't touch these boogers because they're probably dangerous. Wow, my word. Look at that. Uh -huh. Th those ones that spikes are more dangerous than this one here. He's not so dangerous. Oh, he's, he's okay. He's friendly. <laughs> we call it Zapotillo in Spanish. So why are you rubbing it on your on your oh, skin? To get rid of the mosquitoes. Oh you, yeah, would that help us get rid of the mosquitoes? Yes, this is against uh, cut, cuts and wounds. It's a little smelly, but uh, doesn't matter to me. Cool, I'll try it. <laughs> Rather than going up, this is what, this is what we saw on that feature. Mm -hmm. So is it a guada or a quarry? I think it's a guada. Yeah. What is a, a guata? Yeah, a guada is um, where water is. Contain water, uh -huh. real, real like a little reserve. Like a water reserve. Yeah. But this is this is against um, mosquito bites and snake bites. And snake mm -hmm. bites. Mm -hmm. You look a little greenish, but doesn't doesn't yeah. matter. I don't care if I look green as long no. as I don't get bit by a snake. Yeah. <laughs> so the snake doesn't like the smell of this leaf either. They don't like that. They don't like that. You pass by, they will uh, just uh, fall asleep. Uh, <laughs> nothing good. Not mm. look, nothing bad. So I can taste this bitter. It doesn't taste bad though. Now, why do you feel the difference of in, in your system? Okay. And it's again, if you eat, you eat this, you could have it for uh, for eating uh, normally every day. Mm -hmm. You could then, um, you could actually have poison in your body. Right. You, you could become like a snake. Uh huh. If you hit someone like that, or slap someone, if you, you have you have to go to the doctor for a for a snake um, anti snake bite. Wow. This is the soft part. This is soft part here. And what's this called? This is the, the heart of the palm. Uh -huh. It's it delicious. It's so right now we, we're in Guatemala. Okay, here, here, here. We crossed over. We don't know where we are. Right. It's a bi-national park. Uh -huh. But we're closer to the west than we are to the east. Okay. When people get some bad sores, uh -huh. like not, 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 um, that will not cure so easy, you, you take the root of this plant here. Yes. Um, the wild carrot, 
Yeah. And you could you could dry dry the the carrots mm -hmm. very dry and turn it into powder to put on the affected area. Uh huh. Okay. So this is a piece of pottery. That's piece of pottery. So we, w what does that tell you? Well, more or less is that is a, is a mound, you know, it's a house mound. Mm -hmm. This is the one for rheumatism. Uh huh. Okay. It's stronger smell if you do it a little piece like that. <laughs> no, eat it, you know. Eat it? No, no, no. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. What do you think this is? It's the, they excavate into the limestone mm -hmm. uh, a bottle, so it goes down circular like a neck, and then it goes open into the bo bottom like a cave, but it's a storage unit that's created by stone tools, you know, hacking away at the, at the um, limestone. And you can recognize it because... It's, a, it's, a, it's bigger than those holes. See, you see the limestone circle there? Yeah, absolutely. So this is a cold tomb. This is the first uh, way people would have to walk to get into the more private sections of El Pilar. See that this is actually a, a, a stairway. And the interesting thing is that the ancient Maya really knew how to move water. And it's not, I mean, it never, never, uh, never hold water. The, the drains that they put in are still the drains that work. You were asking, Tony, about the looters' trenches. This is one we haven't been able to fill. For the most part, I don't think they got anything. Yeah, it's a big make-work project. But look at how you can see the outer walls of some of the early. Um, you want to come up maybe here? One of the earlier construction phases? Yeah, early construction phases. And here you can see the platform and the facade. This is early construction. Then a later one here. This one here, if you look, Terry, above you, <laughs> it's a big wall. They cut through the jam. This is a room with a bench. See, I think I can see the wall get a sense of the different things you can see when you do a cutting. Yeah. Um, Which is the only benefit that came from looting. Yeah, hardly a benefit. See, we, we actually weren't even intending to excavate this, but every time we'd leave in the early days, we would try to co cover that up and we'd come back and someone had opened it up and tried to get in. Okay. So come on in here and, and we'll, uh, we'll look at some of the features that this that gives us now. This came. Uh, we thought this was a staircase. It was a perfect idea because we're still trying to get people up to the top. They wouldn't have gone the way we do. Uh, so of course we decided we'd look for the staircase. And we came down in here. Actually at the time these were very ochre red. Wow. Um, really oh, amazing. You think this is a, a stairway? Well, it's certainly an opening. It doesn't look very big. So, maybe so what, what kind of a tree is this? Uh, so um, like um, copal, okay. copal tree. It's uh, incense where they might use to do their ceremonies with. They smoke the temple or in churches they use it. In One of the reasons why I'm a promoter of archaeology under the canopy is because the uh, natural way these were conserved after the collapse and after the abandonment was under the canopy. And that was a stable environment, temperature-wise. Mm -hmm. Didn't have a lot of sun and shade uh, promoted uh, keeping the water in. And by keeping the water in, it kept, uh, kept the uh, monumental, the remains of the mon monumental buildings more intact. And certainly, you know, we excavate that's destroying parts of the, uh, the temples and uh, we're, doing, we're doing invasions, you could say, but the best way to keep it is under the canopy. It's more comfortable for you mm -hmm. and it's keeping the monument in stable conditions. You get it exposed to the sun, this, these, um, these dry out, the water that's in the monument, you can't stop that, comes out just like if you were irrigating and forms uh, minerals, usually salt, on the surface and then these biofilms that like to break down that surface so we can have the beautiful trees that we have um, uh, turn this into powder. So having it under the canopy is really a very important um, conservation feature. It's very obvious that you have a rise there. Yeah. Yeah, because look at how obvious this is going up. Yeah, so this is really a, a very important feature and this feature is definitely a terrace. And each time we're rising about a meter from here, we'll rise one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six to seven meters. Hello, you are humongous. 
medicinal? Uh, medicinal for um, curing some um, kind of um, fresh colds or asthma. So uh, when it's ripe, you could boil it with brown sugar and, and drink, make a syrup with it, and have that syrup to for the asthma. This is illegally cut. What is this mahogany or yeah, cedar? cedar. Yeah. It's a cedar, and here too, yeah. mm -hmm. up there, they have just dropped them. How do you get them out by on on like pickups? This, these are Guatemalans doing yeah. this, or Belizeans? I'm pretty sure we know it's Belizeans. Yeah. There's other adults of Guatemalans that come over and do this kind of thing. Yeah. And in Guatemala, so there is a, a, a protected area, and, the, and there's also a, um, a concession that has legal rights to take out um, uh, lumber. And they, they ha they're very worried also because these people are taking their lumber. The Belizeans taking their lumber from mm -hmm. the Guatemalan side? Right, not in here. This is a protected area in both Belize and Guatemala. It's ah. the El Pilar Archaeological Reserve for Maya, Flora and Fauna. Oh. Oh. So you can use it as burials yeah. at yeah. some point. So you could find treasure in there, but I think they are ones they are cleaned out. Already, uh, most of them. Possibly. I want to go in and find out. They, there could be snakes and all kinds of things in there that are a bit snakes, pissed off. Scorpions. Exactly. That's why I want to go in. <laughs> 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 Funny. Oh, he's got something in his hand. Yeah. Watch it. Uh -oh. Watch it. <laughs> he's gonna wanna throw. Yeah. I mean, what a great chance we've seen. So many animals coming over here. <laughs> this is just amazing. And those seeing the spiders. The spiders were not. When I first was here, there were no spider monkeys. Really, maybe I saw one or two. But now they're starting to be more numerous. That's very exciting. Here we oh. are at Pilar Poniente. Another component of the greater El Pilar um, civ civic ceremonial city and um, one of the things that I dream about when I think of this whole process of creating a binational park on this troubled border between Belize and Guatemala is how El Pilar could be a peace park and really bring both uh, Guatemala and Belize together around the things that we all love, the nature and culture of the Maya. Unbelievable. All of these are flakes. You know, stone tools are not like um, like uh, uh, ceramic. Ceramic, you make a paste and put it all together. Here, you have to reduce the rock to get what you want. Right. And um, all of these are thinning rocks to make um, tools that look, you know, look like... Um, Spare. Spear, but they're really machetes. So, I have, what's what's your name? My name is Terry Carter. And where are you where are you from? San Ignacio, Cayo. I'm retired now. Yes, but I was in pathology. I had a pathology lab, the, the first private laboratory in Belize, medical laboratory. What was your experience of uh, today with uh, Annabelle going around El Pilar? Well, I think it was so special um, having Annabelle with us just made all the difference in the world and also seeing it through a, a different light through the canopies basically and and being in the jungle and walking the jungle all of it had a, a spiritual feeling to me and, and, and uh, uh, an admiration for the fact that it's it's beautiful even though it existed so long ago and it's you know just a, a bunch of rocks out there but it it came across with a much more meaning So hard and you just, you just like you know they just sit the net and you can't put it in. My pride is gone and now I'm on my bed. Let me ask you, let me ask you, drank the water, and I became a Belizean daughter. Some people look at me, they say, she do no harm. Look at her, she's got a productive farm, and I hate it. 
haters watch me and the haters say, why don't you go home? Home? Where is home? Oh, give me a home with a buffalo roam? Where is home? Where the vicious presidents start the vicious wars? The land of the stripes and the stars? That is home? Uh-uh, uh-uh. The haters watch me, the haters say, why don't you go back to the USA? This time when you gonna go away? Well, I will go. I will go. I won't play. I won't delay. I won't go on back to the USA. Anytime you want, I'm gonna go back to the USA. I don't play. There is just one thing that I got to say. I'm gonna go back to the USA on one special day. You know what is that special day when I'm gonna go back to the USA? I'm gonna take my alien ass and I'm gonna go back to the USA. What day will be that special day? That will be the day when all the Belizeans come back from New York and L.A. My name is Mr. Pastor Chen. I know Lisa from ever since. Yeah. She come here when she was a little girl. She's doing a perfect job to uplift the Maya. And we thank that for that. In our own village, San Pedro, Colombia. She is no longer American, but she's a Mayan American. Wow, well, well, thanks.